Hello and welcome everyone. A quick question. Do you think that max function can help you to draw a perfectly aligned line chart? The answer is simply yes. Look at the chart that we have on the screen right now. I have the sales for two years, the monthly sales for two years, 21 and 22. Not only this, on top of the chart, you have the year on year percentage change for each and every month. Although the number is changing, you can see that we have 7%, 11%, one more time 7% and then 8% and so on and so forth, you will find that all the labels are perfectly aligned on top of the chart. Let's go to Excel and see how we can do this together. The data inside this small table, I have Jan up to December in the columns. In the rows, I have the sales for FY21 and then FY22, and I have an empty line to calculate the percent of change. In order to start, let me start by just calculate the absolute difference. So I'm going to type equal FY22 minus FY21. And here you go. Here is the difference, 81.76. But now I need to change this to percentage. So I'm going to edit inside the formula bar. I'm going to start by just putting this small equation inside two brackets and then divide by the previous year or year 21 and then hit enter and here you go you just need to change to percentage and you have the seven percent change year over year i think it's very easy but there is a more simple way to calculate this percent of change so i'm going to start by just typing equal i'm going to select the most recent year and then divide by the old year or the previous year and then hit enter and you have 107 percent if you just edit again minus one and hit enter and here you go you have the seven percent this is the shorthand for the year over year change you can just drag this till the end and you are all good to go now we can start to draw our chart i'm going to select the entire table Control a to select the entire table and then going to insert and from the chart area i'm going to select the line chart and i'm going to select the 2d line chart at the beginning let's try to see what we have on the chart i have fy21 in the blue color you can notice here and also you have fy22 with the orange color and you can notice that fy22 is always higher than fy21 at all points if you look at the gray line here you will see that it is the year on year percent change but you can notice that it is very small it is very very close to the zero line why because if you compare the 11 and 1200 here to the 0.07 it is very small that's why on the scale it is at the bottom of the chart and this is the problem that i want to solve before solving this issue let me start by doing some simple formatting I'm going to start by selecting the axis and then right click and format axis. It will open the format axis pane. I need to increase the minimum be because I need to push these two lines in the middle of the chart. So I'm going to increase the minimum. Let me put it like 750 and then enter. And here you go. It is pushed a little bit down. Also, I need to increase the maximum. Let me put it like 1500 and enter. I think it's now much better. No need for the axis right now. I can just delete. But let me add some labels to the lines. So I'm going to green plus. And from data labels, I'm going to just click on it. You will have all the labels here. The one for FY22 is on top. I need to increase the space between the two labels. So I can put the labels for FY21 below the blue line. So I'm going to select the data label and then below. I think all good. Now I need to change the lines into smooth line. I'm going to select the first line and from the fill and line, I'm going down to smooth line. I'm going to do the same for the blue line, smooth line. Let me delete the grid lines. Also, I'm going to delete the chart title. The final step is to change the colors. I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to change to something like red and the FY21, I'm going to change to something like gray. Now we need to start to think about how to show the percentage of change on top of this chart. At the beginning, let me select the chart and you can find that the data selected is the entire table. I need to take out the last line. So I'm going just to drag this line out of the chart and I'm going to do something very different. In this line, line number eight, I'm going to calculate 
the max of the two years I'm going to type equal and then max and I'm going to select the data or the sales for two years together and then close the bracket and hit enter I need to drag this formula to the right so I need to fix the reference the reference need to be absolute I'm going to select and F4 and click enter before dragging to the right I need to increase even above the max I need to increase this value little bit above the max because I need the line to be just on top so I'm going to push this value a little bit on top of the max so I'm going to multiply it by 1 plus 10 percent so this value will be 10 percent higher than the max value of any value in this table and then I'm going to drag this to the right I have one constant value across 1 4 1 6 I need to add this value inside the chart so I'm going to select the entire row Control C to copy then I'm going to select the chart and Control V to paste and here you go I have a new line added on top and all with the same value 1416 and also you can notice the legend here year on year line as you can notice now I need to change the label of this line I'm going to select the labels and from format data label I'm going to select label options you can see that I have two boxes checked one is show leader lines I'm going to uncheck and then show the value I'm going to uncheck instead I'm going to check on value from cells once I click on it it will open this small dialog box and asking you where is the value that you're going to use I'm going to click on the arrow on the right hand side and I'm going to select the range of the correct values that I want to add to the chart and then click again on the arrow and click on OK and here you go you have all the labels in the right place now I can just select the line and I'm going to select fill and line and then no line and here you go you have all the data exactly like what you want I can just increase the width and I can just give it a different color let me put it in the green color and this is simply how max function can help you to draw one line perfectly aligned on top of your chart containing the labels that you want to add to your chart that was all for today if you like this video please like it subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment you will find some useful links here please check them out thank you very much for your time and see you in next video and bye